유튜브의 창립자인 스티브 첸을 모시겠습니다. 네, 스티브 첸은 2005년 캔허리와 유튜브를 공동으로 출시했고요. 이후 1년 전 최대 기자에서 전 세계 최대 규모의 동영상 사이트로 어, 성공시켰습니다. 현재 유튜브의 메인 기술자로서 엔지니어링 및 제품 개발 두 분야를 모두 총괄하면서 웹사이트 운영, 새로운 기능과 서비스 개발의 업무를 맡고 있습니다. 다시 한번 커다란 박수를 부탁드립니다. 스윗채입니다 안녕하세요. 스윗채입니다. here with people who are enthusiastic about YouTube. We launched the YouTube Korea site in January of this year and it's great to see so many Koreans already interested in YouTube in such a short period of time. You know, a small part, a small part of that success is due to the work within YouTube, but the bulk of it is because of the great content created by you guys. It was in January of 2005, it was in my place in San Francisco, and we were having dinner and we were shooting photos and videos of one another, and uh, you know, we found out that it was really easy to share the photos. We found out that when you share the videos, they were too big to email, they were just very difficult to share, and we thought many people are going to have this problem, so we created YouTube. So, when we first launched the site in May of 2005, we thought it would be a personal video sharing site. And Chad, the other co-founder, would be taking videos of his kids to share with his parents. And I was taking videos of my cat. And I want to show you that very first video. <laughs> it's not a very interesting video. <laughs> From May of 2005 to December of 2005, the momentum of the site continued to grow. For example, the cat video, I knew everyone that I wanted to share this video with. However, we started seeing people create videos that they wanted to share with the entire world. So I want to share some of the interesting stats that uh, we see on YouTube today. Every minute, YouTube receives over 10 hours of video. And over 70% of all the videos on YouTube are watched every week. And so we started seeing um, what started off as an entertainment site. It's grown to much more. And what do I mean by more than entertainment? Well, YouTube has been used for politics. And I want to show you a video of Tony Blair after President Sarkozy won the French elections. He sent President Sarkozy a congratulatory message through YouTube in English. Hello. The French election obviously attracted a lot of interest in Britain. And of course, France is a close neighbor and an important partner for us. Last night, I spoke to Nicolas Sarkozy, the new French president, to congratulate him. Nicolas Sarkozy is somebody I know well. I like him very much. I respect him. He's a strong leader. And I know he'll want to forge a good and close partnership between Britain and France for the good of our two countries, for Europe, and for the wider world. And it shows the global YouTube community by the other video that Tony Blair posted, and this time in French. Bonjour à tous. J'ai décidé de me risquer à vous adresser ce message en français, ce qui est peut-être une bien mauvaise idée. Maintenant, vous allez devoir être indulgent si j'ai étonné un peu votre nom. Now here he's practicing his Korean to upload the Korean version of that video. Um, another use of YouTube beyond politics is a way for nonprofit organizations to get their message out to the world. And the next video I want to show is a video capturing all the horrors of Darfur. And really, without YouTube, this content would have just been forever stored on the cameras or computers somewhere in the world. And there would have been no way to share this with the rest of the world. The horror of Darfur cries out, do something. You know, YouTube is one of the most powerful mediums nonprofits can leverage to give a tangible demonstration of their efforts, connect with people, and exponentially widen their reach. 
thousands of nonprofits utilize YouTube's global platform to raise awareness, showcase their impact and needs, and encourage supporters to take action. To close, I want to show one final video. It's a feel-good video about what YouTube can do to the rest of the world. This final video is a man in Australia who thought that in the modern world, few people had the time to connect with one another. And his idea was to create one video where he gave free hugs to everyone that he ran into. And with this video, he started a global movement with people contributing similar videos from all over the world. Videos of people hugging other people. you come to me But I don't like illusions I can't see them clearly I don't mind I don't care As long as you're here to meet and talk with the people that have created some of my favorite videos on the site.